These are the tools you'll need to complete input seal replacement procedures for both M and D series. To replace the input shaft seal, remove the pinch bolt from the lower end yoke of the steering column. Remove the lower end yoke from the input shaft. Place a drain pan under the steering gear. You won't need to drain the system, however some fluid will be lost. Remove the face seal from the input shaft and match it to the replacement seal before discarding. Clean the area thoroughly to prevent contaminants from entering the gear when the cover is removed. Mark the cover and the housing for alignment references for the reassembly process. Remove the four bearing cap cover bolts and remove the cover. The thrust washer may stick to the cover. If this occurs, reinstall the thrust washer in the steering gear. Do not turn the input shaft with the cover removed. Turning the input shaft or mixing components will cause damage to the bearing cap and input shaft assembly. Place the bearing cap cover on a clean work surface. Gently pry the salt seal from the bearing cap cover. Drive the oil seal out of the cover using a seal driver or an appropriate sized socket. Some steering gears will have a protective washer behind the oil seal. If your cover has the protective washer, first pry the protective washer out of the cover, then drive the oil seal from the cover. Remove the bearing cap cover O-ring. Discard all seals and clean the cover with a suitable solvent. Place the cover face down on a clean work surface. The seal with the gold spring is the oil seal. Lightly coat the outside diameter of the seal with oil. Make sure the lip of the seal and the gold spring faces up. Install the input seal using an arbor press and an appropriate sized seal driver. If a press is not available, a vise may be used. If the cover used a protective washer, press the washer into place. Install the new cover o-ring. Install the salt seal into the cover, making sure the silver spring faces outward. Tape the input splines before installing the cover to prevent seal damage. Install the cover onto the steering gear, making sure the plunger hole lines up with the cover. Install the four bolts into the cover and torque to 53 to 63 foot-pounds. Remove the tape from the input shaft and install the face seal cover over the shaft. Reinstall the lower end yoke of the steering column. Reinstall the pinch bolt and torque to manufacturer's recommended specifications. Check and correct the fluid level in the power steering reservoir. Start the vehicle and check for leaks.